Wood Stove 101. We've just gathered kindling. We've just gathered some mid-grade wood to go on top of the kindling. And then we have some big logs outside to go on top of that once some better coals is established in the wood stove. So, wood stove maintenance, okay? We have an old uh, good amount of coals in here burned down right now from last night. We let it burn out for the day. We didn't really need wood stove burning today. We're going to empty that out into a metal barrel and then put that out into a little gravel area. Cleaned out for the most part right now. I don't try to get it super clean. It's a waste of time. Um, open up your air intake all the way. Product starting to fire. On the base right here, I just have leaves out of the woods. And then we're going to take all the little kindling sap that we collected from the... Uh, fallen apple tree out there and we're going to put that in the fire. That apple tree fell about two years ago in a heavy windstorm and I left it. I never cut it down and I've been picking off it since. And I'll basically pick it dry and then I'll slice it up some more. So I let nature do it. It stays off the ground. The wind keeps it nice and dry and we just use it for kindling as we need. I don't try to make this pretty like a lot of people do. Um, I honestly just jam the shit in it. Jam the stuff in there. Doesn't have to be real pretty. If it's dry, and you okay, guys. Cardboard has a lot of heat property to it. It really does. It does a really good job starting to fire really quick with just a little tiny bit of fuel. Clearly, underneath the fire, it's a little bit better. But to be honest with you, when you're working with dry kindling, it really doesn't matter. Clearly rocking right now. We're just trying to burn down these small sticks, and while it's rocking, we're gonna put our medium weight logs on top. Okay, so these are still very small. These are gonna burn very fast and very hot, but they're gonna improve our coals dramatically. So that once we put on some thicker logs, there'll be a nice bed of coals to really ignite those and burn super hot. Remember, with your wood stove to be the most efficient, it's gotta burn hot and it's gotta burn clean. So it's really important you strike lower system that. on this wood stove, but we don't really use it. What we use are two of these fans. These fans are thermoelectric. The base gets hot, the heat works up through the metal. There's a little motor on the back right here. The motor gets hot. I'm assuming it expands, and as it expands, it creates electricity and creates the, the fan starts to spin. The fan moves a lot of air. So I could be wrong on how that works. I'm not an engineer on thermoelectric fans. But I know when it gets hot, it turns on and it has no battery. We have two of those fans in the back on the rear of the wood stove, sucking the warm and the cool air in behind it and blowing it over the hot stove and circulating the air throughout the house. On top of the wood stove, we have this old school cast iron steamer. We fill this with water, takes just under approximately half a gallon. And then as it heats up, it steams and releases the warm steam. The steam is also in front of the fan blades. So the fan is blowing the warm steam out and blowing the heat from the fireplace out. So it stays pretty efficient. It heats, no electricity needed, and we can move a tremendous amount of heat throughout the house. Okay, so any second now, these fans are gonna kick on and start to spin, I guarantee it. And um, it's pretty neat. The other thing that works really good about our setup as far as heating the house is that this entire setup is a ton of stone. There's stone above and there's stone below. The stone acts as a thermal mass. So as that fireplace heats up and it starts to put off a tremendous amount of heat, there's two things that happen. These vents on the bottom of the stone suck in cool air just through the chimney effect and then blow the hot air out here on the top of the stone. This also produces a lot of heat. These stones warm up throughout the fire and they'll maintain heat in a thermal mass effect for hours after the fire is burnt out and continue to radiate heat off of this stone fireplace. The farm dogs, when they're inside, they know exactly where the heat is and they'll come lay right in front of the fireplace. Okay guys, the fans are just starting to spin. This is kind of a process. Um, the one to the left is just getting a little bit more heat based on what the firebox is doing. The one to the right is a little bit less heat, but here within probably the next five minutes, they're gonna take off kind of like a helicopter and really start producing a lot of uh, current 
and air movement from the rear of that stove to the front and it really throws off a lot of heat. So this is a great way to heat your house without having to use any electric. You can be in a total, you know, should hit the fan moment and have enough heat and wind movement to push that heat throughout your entire uh, cabin. These fans, if you don't know, uh, typically they're always made up in Canada for the most part. You got to get them up there. They work real, real well. They basically last forever. There's real no moving parts. If a motor burns out, you can replace the motor. It's two screws and a little wire. Um, they're really neat. They work really, really well. Okay, guys, can't stay too close. The wood stove's cooking right now. It's all the mid-level kindling. The uh, lower level's down. The mid-level's rocking. So we're going to put a nice thick uh, piece of seasoned oak in there. Always open your fireplace a little bit slow. Otherwise, just, you may suck that flame right out to you. Okay, so I hope this shows in the video, but these fans are cooking. Spinning very fast right now, moving a tremendous amount of air over the top of the firebox. And that's it. The house is gonna to start to heat up pretty quick. Uh, once it heats up, what we do is we turn the upstairs fan on, which will draw the air from the upstairs, cycle it through the basement, and then back out the middle level of the house. We have a incredibly efficient, uh, brand new, basically house fan system. It uses, I think, 80 watts of electricity while it's running and circulates the air pretty well. So. With the uh, wood stove going, we don't need to run that fan, but with the wood stove going and that house blower on, it, I mean, this whole cabin will heat up incredibly fast with you know less than 80 watts of energy being used. Ridge side, K9.